say you're doing well. Is that kind of a product out of need this year, or because you have maybe perhaps better depth at some positions where you're comfortable with that? We wanted, we wanted to play more 11-on-11 11 11 football for our offense. And, and you know, our, our defense, you know, relative to where we are, you know, we've got over 2,000 live snaps cumulative on the defensive side of the ball on returning players. That's a lot of snaps. So in answering your question, the 11-on-11 11 11 suits the offense a lot more because of our lack of experience in some key positions versus the defense. But our defense is going to be able to get more of the depth work. So on one side of the ball, to answer your question, it helps our offense and it helps you know, the needs of inexperience. And then on the other side, it's really helping our defense build the depth. Brian, I mean, that was kind of the different feel the leadership and the journey. I mean, you've had good leaders here, like you know, Harrison and Michael and Darius and guys like that. So, hey, could you expand a little bit on what's different about the leadership or what's different about the maturity of this team maybe in the last couple of years? I just think, you know, it started back in January when <clears throat> I was committed to being a better head coach in the sense that I needed to spend more time with my players. This job has a tendency to distract you a little bit. And I took it because I wanted to coach and I wanted to be around the guys. So back in January, we started every Monday, our A club, our A team. And I would meet just myself with our players. So I just think my emphasis of spending more time, Pete, with the players and getting to know them better and letting them get to know me better than just sitting up in an office and. Well, there's where the head coach of Notre Dame sits. I've never been that kind of coach. And, and I felt myself sliding towards that in my first couple years. So I don't think it's anything on their part. I think it's probably more on my part being more accessible and being around the guys a lot more. When did it kind of hit you that you were drifting away from, I guess, being the kind of hands-on coach that you wanted to be or, or always have been? Um, I don't know. I don't know if there was one moment that 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 happened, but I, I think when there's when there's not, you know, um, you know the kind of results that that you're looking for, you got to look at yourself first, and, and that's you know that's that's where I looked.